Hello, my iPhone friend. Um, I just I told you that I would just do a quickie video to show you the difference uh, between the cross knee, cross ankle, going into the bow and arrow. I know you said you feel much more secure with the um, cross knee release, um, which everybody does basically in the beginning, of course, um, because there's more of a lock there, so you definitely feel more secure with that knee bent. Um, however, the bow and arrow is easier to get into from the cross ankle, but if you want to try it, it still is possible with the cross knee. Um, for example, I tried to explain the best I could over the internet about the the locks that you're dealing with with the cross ankle and how to do it safely and feel secure in it. Um, but say I'm in a cross knee like this, okay? You feel safer because you got this this lock here on your on your calf and that pit of your knee, so it's making you feel more secure. So from here, if I want to go into a bow and arrow, I bring my hands back, just like I would in the other. But see, for me, and I think probably for everybody, but I don't know, I have to get rid of this cross leg. And so I have to uncross it, then hook with the other side and extend that one spent leg outward. Okay, to complete the bow and arrow. Safety dismount. Alright, so while the cross knee is easier in and of itself and less scary for you, the transition of unbending that leg and then sinking down, getting that other hook, that other foot to hook there, and releasing might be more scary for you. Just make sure you have the mats down. I just want to show you that it is possible. I'll show you from the other side. Okay. Cross the knee. You want to get some height. Okay. Now you have the lock here. And you have a nice tight grip here. You feel secure. You're back. Okay. From here, you grab double base pull grip behind the small of the back. Then you have to get rid of this leg. You have to straighten it quickly, hook on with that other foot, and then extend that red leg out. Straighten it, no longer bent. Get your hook behind the pole. Slow it down. And come to safety. You don't have to wear five pound boots that come untied every two seconds. Sorry for this. Okay, now. Why is the cross ankle easier for this one? Because the obvious, it's not bent. Your le uh, one leg is not bent that you have to straighten before you sink back, okay? That can be a little scary, all right? So, with the cross ankle, just from the floor, come up, you see the pole is very high, right underneath the pubic area there, but not touching. And as you come back, you can test out, you know, you got your lock here between the ankles, you got your knees, gripping tightly together, you have to mentally think about it, and the pressure of your thighs squeezing against the pole, okay, makes for a nice sticky grip, so you should be okay, all right? Do it low to the floor like this to start, and when you master this, the bow and arrow will actually be easier to do from this position, not down on the ground like this, but just make sure you have the pole nice and high, and the ankles cross tightly, knees, squeeze them together into the pole, and the thighs, you really need to have that good strong crunch of the thighs against the pole, three locks, all locked, then you want to slowly lean back, check out your grip, your lock, make sure it's safe before you proceed. Okay, so here's the cross ankle with your bow and arrow. Again, you want some height, okay, checking out my locks, all right, well, I feel safe, I come back, same thing with the arms, one hand on top of the other, and the base pull grip, then you just sink, hooking whichever foot is normal for you to hook, depends, because everyone's different, like lefty and righty, and extend outward, there's no crossed foot for me to have to open up then sink into my position, which makes life 
a bit easier when it comes to the bow and arrow. But, like I always say, some things are easier for some people than others. It's just more natural because both legs are fully extended already and you don't have to worry about doing any maneuvering of that inside leg there. Okay, getting it out and then getting the other hooked. Okay, again. All right, check the locks. Can you put a hand down here at first? Feel safe. Okay, both hands at the small of the back. Uncross that lock you have with the ankles. Hook the foot on and sink down into the bow and arrow position, extending your leg outward, straightening the knees, and then you can hook back on and go down in the safety dismount or come onto the pole and dismount any way you like safely. Please be sure to take caution with these moves and be sure to have a spotter or a helper handy or a mat at least, um, somebody that's around that can either watch you or a nice crash mat if you're not secure with your crossing. And so I hope that helps you a little bit. Um, uh, they're both doable, but in my opinion, I would get that cross ankle and really try to work at that, and then that will make things easier when you're trying to go into the bow and arrow for the reasons I just showed. All right, so good luck with it. Love you. See you on the board.